Tablets are still young in technology, but tablets have also become one of the most popular items in the tech world since the introduction of iPads. As the industry has grown, so have the popularity of tablets, with tablets being offered by many companies such as Android and iPad being the most popular. They still have their advantages and disadvantages. Some advantages are tablets are extremely portable devices. Being able to remotely interact with your work is becoming a necessity as businesses become more integrated with technology. In a business setting, having and using a tablet can communicate to your clients as a feeling of professionalism. Therefore, developers continue to design new business apps that improve over time there will be a growing amount of potential work used for tablets. And some of the disadvantages are most tablet functions can be performed on a laptop or desktop computer. Yes, tablets may be more convenient, but does this make them absolutely necessary? Tablets can be very distracting because tablets are a crossover device between business and consumers. Tablets are a new technology though this makes them exciting and cutting edge, it also makes them expensive and sometimes faulty. Developers often release these items before they are perfected, and it might be a few years down the road until a fully reliable tablet is released and at a reasonable cost. Do you own a tablet? Uh, no. How would owning a tablet benefit you here at Life University? Um, I guess taking notes in class. Uh, probably using like audio note, no, no, notes or whatever. Uh, from um, It's like an app you can download on your iPad. Uh, uh, when you record all your lectures, you can just type in like a word from the lecture and it will pop up at that exact moment. So. That'd be pretty cool. Do you own a tablet? I do not. What do you think the benefit of owning a tablet on campus would be? Probably the uh, efficiency. You, it's so light, we're already carrying a heavy load in our backs and having to walk fairly far. Um, so the fact that you can pull it out at any time um, and just use it, as well as the fact that I know being in the industry we are, there's a lot of apps from a medical standpoint that would be invaluable study, to, study tools that you can't have on a on a laptop, so. Audio Jungle. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Candace Harris, and your name is? Adam Janiak. Okay, thank you, Mr. Janiak, for doing this for us today. No problem. Um, do you own a, lap, a tablet? Yes. You do, okay. And do you, do you own anything other than a tablet? Like a dog or a home? Like or? a PC, no. a laptop, a, laptop. a nook? Yes. Okay. And if I gave you a free tablet for doing this survey or interview, which one would you choose and why? Um, give two reasons. Anything but the iPad. Okay. One, because I have one, and two, because they don't play a lot of types of video. Okay. And name the different tablet brands that are out there. Three. Um, Apple, Samsung, um, Philips. Okay. All right. Thank you. And you won $100, and you're the only one today that has won $100 for that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, how much would you spend on a tablet or think a tablet should be worth? Uh, not maybe a couple hundred. Just because okay. they're really for games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. And um, that concludes our interview. All right. And thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah. Oh.